Hi, I'm Sarah Suleiman, a Sudanese immunologist and an instructor of medicine at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School in Boston. Imagine that one of you has TB and all of you are exposed. All of you are at risk, but 90% of you will never get clinical symptoms of TB. And of the 10% who will, they might get it right away or it might be years before they develop any signs of active disease. One germ, multiple outcomes. We have tests like this tuberculin skin test. Basically, we test whether the germ has infected the body. Meanwhile, someone who's been infected by the germ could be walking around with TB for years, potentially exposing others, if they even come back at all to the clinic. So how do we make a decision to inform the clinical care that these people should receive? Should the health caregiver give preventative treatment that has side effects to everyone who was exposed to the disease, knowing that 90% will never actually need it? That's just not an economic option in every country, and it's not a good option for everyone. Using gene expression profiling, my lab in Cape Town has been able to develop much more accurate predictions. We found that the activation of four genes was enough to predict the outcome, which we translated into a score. A clinical trial to test the concept that preventative antibiotics can block TB expression in those with high scores has actually been implemented in Cape Town, and the results will be published soon. And if you are able to translate the simple gene expression test into a handheld point of care device, which is possible in the next years, that means that doctors and patients in high endemic settings like South Africa or Namibia or other African countries could now know during the visit to the doctor if they should start preventative treatment right away. That's the predictive power of personalized medicine. But the tool that powers personalized medicine isn't biomedical devices like the ones we are working on. The tool that powers it is data science. And as wide a field as personalized medicine is, there are so many problems to solve that have more than one predictor and more than one outcome. Any place where we are good at naming the problem but cannot predict quickly enough which interventions will work, that's where data science is helpful. The work that I'm doing is a proof of concept that we can use these tools to solve these kinds of problems. Now what we need is African problem solvers.